Hi church, my name is Julie Shelton. I'm an area pastor for the east of Manchester and it's my privilege today to bring our uh, devotions to you. So, nearly Christmas? All excited? No, I haven't got my tree up yet, but that's another story. Okay, so today we are going to be looking at the birthplace of Jesus. So I'm just going to read uh, from the Bible to you and we are looking at Matthew 20 verse 28. Just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. From the beginning, he was a gift to bless others, just as the shepherds were blessed. So, the stable was unexpected, because you wouldn't think a king would be born in a stable, would you? Uh, but it was intentional. So, I was thinking... You'd think, wouldn't you, that a king would be born full of, in a place full of riches, you know, posh bedding, posh duvets, posh this, posh that. And I was thinking about the poshest place that I've been to and I'm sure that a king would be all right, fitting really well. And it's the uh, Ritz Hotel in, Man in, um, in London, <laughs> sorry, Manchester. Uh, in London and John took me for an afternoon tea there and it was absolutely beautiful. Everywhere you look there was something beautiful to look at. Um, we had lovely music going on, um, someone playing the piano, velvet curtains, gold knives and forks, um, posh this, posh that. And it was just absolutely luxurious. But Jesus, he was born in a noisy stable and it probably wasn't a piano. It was probably the cows and goodness knows what making a noise. Probably smelt rotten and it was cold probably and drafty and dirty. You wouldn't think a king would be born there, would you? But it was God's intention because Jesus came as a servant. He wanted to be able to identify with um, with ordinary people, you know, and um, that's why he was born in a stable because he won he was humble. So I was thinking as well, you know, all the way through Jesus's life, he was humble. He put people first, even at the end of his life, he put others first. And one of the other verses that I was thinking of is in Philippians where it says. He gave up his divine privileges, taking the humble, humble again, you see, humble position of a servant when he appeared in human form and becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. So he was born in one of the worst places and he died in one of the worst places. So when you're thinking about Jesus this Christmas, you know, just think about what he gave up to come and be born so that we could have eternal life and to know him as our saviour. So I hope you have a lovely Christmas. Take care. God bless.